Hey guys, it's Kaylee Box here with another video. And I know, okay, yes, first things first, let's get this off the bat. I changed, I cut my hair. Again, so I shaved the sides. Anyway, um, <clears throat> moving on. I know that was very fast. As some of you might know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And I myself have mental health issues, so I decided to sh I'm going to share to you my problems. So, in November of 2019, oh shit, I should probably, this is a trigger warning for anyone who can't deal with mentions of suicide or cutting or anything, this is just a trigger warning, put, stop the video, because this is all that's, it's gonna mention that quite a lot, and I won't exactly remember the times for that, because I don't edit my videos, <laughs> but yeah, so this is trigger warning, stop the video right now if you can't deal with that kind of stuff. Anyway, in November of 2019, I had become extremely depressed and very suicidal. During the day, I was perfectly fine. I was okay. It didn't bother me. But at night, I would get into such a bad place. I was just like, I just, I just want to die. I just want to kill myself. I just want to die. And my mom... She kept an eye on it. She kept an eye on me. I would break down and then call her because I wasn't okay. Then we, I talked to my mom. I didn't want to take my medicine. And she was like, how do you feel? I said that I wanted to kill myself. Or I just, I wanted to die. And so my mom asked, do you know how you want to do it? And previously I had had no answer. But this time I had said I wanted to slip my wrist. And that scared her. Because when... Because I now had an idea of how I wanted to do it. So she took me to a hospital immediately after talking to my doctor, my psychiatrist, sorry. And so I went into the hospital and there I was diag there I was diagnosed with depression. Although it was kind of obvious to my mom at that point, I was still very much not okay. So I stayed in the hospital all day and I was finally sent to a psych ward. I'm not going to name the place, but it definitely was an adventure. It was scary. And It hurt me. I was there for four days. We figured out that the reason I had become so suicidal was because of my medication. So we stopped that immediately and I got put on a new medication. I was feeling a lot better, I was happy again, so I got released. A couple days later, we find out that this medication doesn't work. It helps with my emotions, yes, but it doesn't help me focus in school. So I had to get a new medication. And then my doctor prescribed me antidepressants. And I've been taking those ever since December 14th, maybe. No, November. December, November or December, I can't remember. Anyway, um, and ever since then, I do have mood swings where I will be perfectly okay, 
and then all of a sudden I'm really depressed. And December 23rd, 2019, I cut my arm. I, with the razor, I just cut lines. I was scared and I was hurting and I didn't know what else to do, so I cut. I haven't cut since, but I unfortunately do do other things to hurt myself. Like I smack, I do this to my leg. Um, I'll do that. Um, yeah, um, I hit my side. Ow, I do that. I do that to my hip and my leg. Um, I do some other stuff too, but it, it's not as bad. But then my dog Lulu passed away. We had to put her down because her organ started failing and she couldn't live anymore. And I've had this dog for five years. She was like my best friend <laughs> in dog form. <laughs> um, so that happened. <laughs> and up to this point, I had been doing really okay with my depression, you know. I hadn't felt suicidal at all. And then came the first night without her. I broke down so much. I called my mom in the middle of the night because I was on my bed sobbing because my dog wasn't there anymore and she wasn't in her bed and I wouldn't hear her clickety clacks of her feet anymore. And that was the first night in a long time I had wanted to either cut or kill myself. If you've made it this far, you're probably wondering why I'm telling you all this. I just want you guys to know that in my videos, I seem really happy. My live streams, I seem happy, I know that. But when I'm not making those videos, I'm <laughs> majorly depressed. Well, not majorly, but um, there are times when I'm really depressed. You can just ask Harry. But that has been my life. And I've always had depression. I just never knew it. I never knew the proper signs. When I was younger, I'd wanted to die a lot. And I never realized that I was depressed. Now you're probably thinking, but what does this have to do with anything? It. I'm just letting you guys know that everything I do not on YouTube is different than what I do on YouTube. Yeah, I'm that really bubbly, happy person on YouTube. I'm... Sorry. Um, but when I'm not on YouTube, I'm... I'm happy, yeah but just not as happy as I am on YouTube unless I'm with Harry. Which, by the way, hi. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, that's my mental health awareness. Check up on your friends all the time. Make sure they're okay. If they're feeling depressed, ask them. Do you need someone to talk to? 
if they say yes, before they even start talking, ask them, do you want someone to listen? Do you want advice? Or do you want both? And whatever they say, you should do that. If they say, give me advice, give them advice. Otherwise, don't. If they say, just listen, then just listen to them. Don't try to help them when they don't want the help. Sometimes all they need is someone to listen to them. So that's my May mental health awareness. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. So with that, I am saying goodbye.